Nearly four months into our pandemic and we're slowly seeing businesses open back up again. Today, two very popular places to visit, the Oregon Zoo and Piddock Mansion opened. Joe Ranieri has more on how they're taking extra precautions to keep visitors safe. For the first time in nearly four months, the Oregon Zoo is back open again, at least for members only for the next couple of days. But as you walk through here, you're going to notice some big changes, especially when you walk through the entrance. Krista Swan couldn't be more happy to be standing in front of the gates at the Oregon Zoo. Oh, it's such a relief to be open and to be welcoming guests back. It's like I almost get uh, teary eyed about it. She's the marketing and brand manager for the zoo. And while she's happy to be back open, she wants to make sure guests are prepared when they come through. We have these blue paws throughout the zoo that are both a reminder of six foot distance, but also a reminder to kids not to touch surfaces. So we're asking parents and kids to watch for the blue paws. They're also limiting visitors. The first thing and most important is we're requiring people to uh, pre-purchase a ticket online that are in timed segments. And by doing that, we're limiting the number of people that come in at a time. Along with purchasing tickets online, you'll also be required to wear a face covering. That includes kids six years and older. One parent I talked with had mixed emotions about being back. It feels good to be able to get him out of the house and, um, you know, get him somewhere where kids can run around and play, but at the same time, it's also kind of uh, a little nerve wracking. Trying to calm nerves of guests and employees is what they're doing at Pittock Mansion, too. They reopened this week for the first time since mid-March. Jennifer Grit, associate director, says she's following strict guidelines to make sure they can stay open. We won't allow more than 25 people in the mansion at one time. Um, but in the way we do stagger the groups of the in and out, we have staff on the floors that are monitoring the entrance and exit. After losing nearly 400 grand from lack of admission dollars during the pandemic, Jennifer is hoping the community will come out and support them. It is impacting what we can do and what we're we're trying to um, just be as positive as we can. Joe Ranieri, KGW News.